Hello, and welcome back to Trails to Azure Part 22. Last time, the conference was interrupted by an attack, and now it's time to deal with that. I'm not actually sure. I think I want to go this way, but... Yeah. So, like, how they get down here... What? But it was open just a moment ago. Tio, can you work your magic? I'll do what I can. Tio connected an orbital cable to the shutter's control panel. Except the control panel is over on the right there. So really, why is she plugging it in here? This is trickier than I expected. But it's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, there's no control panel there. It opened. Tio Tot comes in clutch yet again. Hardly. The security lock on this gate wasn't particularly complex. Though now that it's been breached, the security on the other exits will likely be heightened. I may not be able to do this for all of them. Sounds like the security system has more than a few aces up its sleeve. <laughs> Worry about that later. We've got to move. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh well, I'll just stick with this. I was gonna check other stuff on that floor if they would let me, but... Now! Smoke out the Chancellor! You'll have to get through me first. Ugh, it's your fine blade of wind. Hold your ground. Attack in waves. We're here to help. You three, fall back. We're in your debt. It's interesting. Mueller Vander. A guardian of the Arnor family? And the Liberalian Royal Guard? It doesn't matter. Take them down. I was going to say, it's interesting that the Calvardian people have, like, gas masks. But the Erebonian... Oh, that's, like, lightning pull in. That's neat. But the... Erebonian terrorists don't have... A gas... Gas masks. Look at that. Show off. I think we can leave that group to them. Oh, hey guys. Lecter. Aren't the dignitaries alright? Yeah, for now, anyway. Save the talking for later. They're coming from behind, too. What? Reinforcements. Something's coming this way. Robots. Well, archaisms, but robot. What are those? They're like the ones we fought in the Mafia's hideout. Never mind that. Suppress them. I do enjoy that they're just bad at their job. Donkey Drum. It's, I find it interesting that... It's like, we got sent here to be helpful. But really... Like... I need more range on her so she doesn't get attacked like that. But it's like, oh, our job is to protect these people. But instead of doing the correct thing, which is, you know, prevent them getting down the stairs, we just stood in the middle doing nothing. This fight's going to be incredibly annoying. Like, it's not very interesting. It's just going to be super obnoxious. Use a stone spike, whatever. Okay, so I should be fine. I don't have AoE healing on her yet. Let's analyze them, see what it says. Three upgraded patrol archaisms. Cleans up suppressed foes using compact machine guns, and it's weak to water because it's a robot. 
I guess breath heals decently. I'm just here to heal. I should just wait till after, but on the off chance that this chains into a dangerous fight, I think it's worth spending the time to make sure everyone's healthy. They have archisms too. Why is that surprising? They likely came in from the roof. Aren't those things made by the society, though? The terrorists could have acquired them from the black market. Or perhaps... What's it matter? Look over there. The archaisms aren't, weren't the only ones stopped in their tracks. Ugh, you're all monsters. There's no other choice. Engage plan B. Smoke grenade? Stun grenade. Is that just retreating? It's closed. Getting through by force would be a tall order. Everyone. No, just... I don't know. I was wondering where you were. Yeah, because they were... The previous chain of cutscenes in the previous one, they just stood there watching the conference after being told, Hey, get to work. Nice job pushing them back with the, their tails between their legs. Maybe. They're going to escape at this rate. Can you get it open, Tio? I don't know for sure, but I can try. Wouldn't it be better to run up the stairs, though? It's like I feared. The security level has been increased to maximum protection. I'm unable to bypass it on a portable terminal, even if I use the Aeon system. Not good. Talk to me. Yes, we managed to hold out. Unfortunately, they... Da, da, da. What? They're taking the elevator to the basement? Right this second? To the basement? They didn't go back up to their airships on the roof? Stop and think about why they wouldn't. They could be trying to detonate orbital bombs they placed on board those ships. What? You might be right. If that's the case, then they're aiming to bury the Chancellor and President with the building itself. It's no surprise terrorists would go to such lengths. Those fools. Well, this is a pickle. There's no way around it. We have to get through this shutter, even if it's by brute force. Wait. We may not have to resort to that after all. What? Is she... Wait, that's Campanella. Well, well. Look who it is. Oh, this is Joma, yeah. You... You're the spitwad who trashed my place. It's so weird that they, like... I, this magic hacking is so silly. I'll get you for that. You'll rue the day you cross Jonah Sacred. Haha. <laughs> Feisty, aren't you? It's so weird. Freeze. It's such a weird, like, interface. Release the controls to the tower at once. Oh boy, I guess you've got me cornered. Fine, fine. This was just a little time killer anyway. I've had my fun. Good luck, boys and girls. Do your best to not bite the big one. What the? It's such a weird interface. Like what? Ignore him. Focus on getting the tower back under control. Like that's so weird. Jonah? Did he come back too? Though it would seem, he must have taken today's flight from Lehman. Done. Now restoring tower control systems. What she should actually do is just shut down the elevators if she can, but... You did it! Can we use the elevators too? Yes, I disengaged the locks. However, we have no control over the one the terrorists are using. In that case, I'll head to the roof. If anyone is to disarm the orbital bombs on board their ships, it'll have to be me. You can do that, Kiliga? 
But of course, it's, uh, it's a skill any counterintelligence officer worth their weight would have. Isn't that right, Secretary Arundel? What do you say we split the work? Sure, might as well. Then allow me to accompany you there. There's a chance they may have left archaisms behind to protect the bombs. The rest of you should pursue the terrorists. You may still be able to catch them. What? The fact that she's yelling when everyone else is just kind of talking is kind of funny. Understood. Bannings, your group is coming with us. There are two cells of terrorists we're dealing with. We'll likely need to split up. Roger that. Aye, aye, sir. But like, can't, why can't they just shut down the elevator they're using and then take the stairs? Like... Like, and the, our elevator's not going to go faster than their ele elevator. Yes? Right? Understood. We can make do with what we know. Good work, Jonah. I'll speak to you again later. What did Jonas have to say? He analyzed the terrorists' escape route. They fled into the Geofront via Orcus Tower's foundation level. By foundation? You mean the basement of the tower, right? It must lead to who knows how many sectors of the Geofront. That won't stop us from capturing those fanatics. I refuse to let them get away and sully the name of the Crossbow Police Department any further. My sentiments exactly. I attended this international conference as a representative of the guild, and now they've assailed it right before my eyes. As a bracer, I cannot let this stand. We're going to capture them. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, there should be a little tiny bit of doubt. Though I'd probably be less nervous if it weren't for those bombs taking away on the roof. It's a weird place to put bombs. Like putting bombs at the top, where a lot of the force will just go out into space. As opposed to like, I don't know, carrying bombs with them to place at the bottom. I'm sure Kilika and Lecter will be able to handle it. After all, they have Senior Captain Schwartz and Major Vander there to back them up. Seriously, that's a real all-star bomb squad we got up there. We, on the other hand, are going a heck of a way down, aren't we? Yes, from floor 35 to floor B8. What do you know? The SSS is taking on Crossbell's Underbelly for real now. Pretty funny. I enjoy that. Ooh, spooky. Are oh, that like the orbital cables? Time is of the essence. We're going ahead. Don't fall behind. Ah. Yeah, are those orbital cables? Sheesh. You'd think they'd been waiting their whole lives for this moment. We should hurry along ourselves. Right. Yeah, like... I wonder if these are both orbital cables or if there's like water... Though you wouldn't really run water that deep. Though I'm not actually sure how water is run to these types of buildings, but... Water is only... I don't know... A few meters below the surface of roads, so you wouldn't have it eight floors below, which would be... At least ten meters under. Unless you really needed to. This is not what I was expecting. Am I... am... I the only one who feels a little overwhelmed here? Curious. What exactly is this place? The main shaft of Orcus Tower, I believe. This chamber is where the weight of the structure is distributed for optimal load-bearing support. I don't think this makes any sense. I'd heard there was something like this inside the tower, but I never expected it to be so... expansive. Yeah, yeah, it's impressive. Can we keep it moving now? Yeah. Let's keep going south. Yeah, don't... I think generally, if you're building a multi... like a 40-story building, you don't dig a big pit under it. Yes, the support is coming from these columns on the outside, but you don't leave a huge air gap. That doesn't make any sense. Ooh. 
Ooh, Dudley, a weakling. Oh, I thought he was injured because he had his eyes closed. Look here. There's only one explanation. Right. This is as far as their little collaboration took them. Or they're still collaborating and just have different strike targets. Dudley, Arios? What's going on? We have a problem. We're not just chasing one combined mass of terrorists down here anymore. Oh no! They're saying the group trying to off the Chancellor and the one aiming for the President split ways right here? There's no doubt in my mind. Yes, because he totally left obvious track marks on metal. The Republican terrorists went to the sea sector of the Geofront. I think both of those are new areas, while the ones from the Empire have escaped to the D sector. Uh, how could you possibly tell? I get it. It's the footprints, isn't it? Why would they be tracking dirt? Exactly. They were in too much of a hurry to hide their tracks. Like, how dirty were their shoes? In that case, we should split into two groups ourselves. If we don't make haste, one or both of them could manage to escape. Agreed. That would be the best course of action. McLean and I will follow the Calvardians into the sea sector. SSS, you pursue, you pursue the Erebonian terrorists in the D sector. Wait, why divide our forces so unevenly? You would be outnumbered several times over with just the two of you. The sea sector is home to a heat treatment plant. It's a difficult place to navigate for those unfamiliar with it. Conversely, the D sector is larger with more open spaces. Your greater numbers will serve you better there. Makes enough sense for me. To me. We're running out of time, Lloyd. I say we go with their plan. Fine, then. Dudley, Arios, be careful in there. <laughs> Same to you. Our suspects are wanted terrorists that are willing to give their lives for their cause. Don't, do not let your guards down. Right. Roger. Wait, did the Calvardians go to Sector C? I wasn't paying enough attention to the names because it didn't matter. Okay, team, let's move out. Our mission is to catch the terrorists before they can escape the Geofront. Right. They've got another thing coming if they think they're getting away. I wasn't paying attention with... Because it didn't actually matter. It's just one of the groups is one, one of the groups is the other. Erebonian and D. Yeah, Calvard and C is pretty funny. What I was going to say... Oh, there's something I was going to say, but I can't remember what it was. Okay, that's a weird design. Ooh, fire lane. There was something noteworthy. I can't remember what it was. But... Come on, you don't need to do it this way. Well, It's weird that the Geofront has park- Oh yes! It's related to the two people that were kept by KUA and the Red Constellation. My guess is there's a chance that we see them after we chase the terrorists as they're exiting I guess for us it will be the red constellation will come in and block them. It might be how it's going to go. Is this an underground parking lot? Yes. It was designed with the expectation that, in the future, cars will become more common in Crossbell. That part I get. This place is so big, it could have its own mailing address. Just how many people do they think are going to be driving orbital cars someday? Ha ha ha. The way I see it, this was just a doe-eyed excuse made up by the Diet members and officials who ordered this place to be built. That was... That... sounds more likely. It's very much the case, unfortunately. But since Speaker Hartman's fall from grace, construction has been halted. Not surprised. Either way, we clearly have a lot of ground to cover. Pursuing every anybody in here won't be easy. Scanning. Human signatures detected. A group of eight is on the move nearby. 
Really? <laughs> Maybe it won't be so hard after all. Let's hurry. Like, this is like... So... Like, this is very... This is, this is more than eight floors underground. There. Everyone, look. Not good. What the? Who the hell are they? Pursuers? Damn. How did they follow us? Crap. Oh, you want to play? I mean, Ellie also has a gun. They're armed. No, to your left. Crap. Move, we can't afford to stop. I mean, yeah, arts have pretty good range. Use ice. Yeah, who are those frickin' brats? Ignore them. Get those feet moving. Couldn't you just, um... Oh, what's Calamity Claw? Reduces movement by three? Uh... They escaped. Yeah. The ladies of the SSS sure aren't afraid to take action, are they? No time to lose. We have to pursue them. There's probably a way down to, to where they just went. No way in hell we're going to let them get away now. Is Calamity Claw in this game? Uh, I got distracted because it's a... Time? Calamity Claw 8. Yeah, move minus 3. I should actually check this way first. But yeah, it's locked. I need eight if I want Calamity Claw. No one is anywhere near eight. Well, I mean, they there's five here and five here. Oh, then I put action two on Randolph. I should actually... Or maybe I, I didn't put... I might have put it there. I might not have put it there. But it was there. Ooh, 100% bonus drop, drop rate. That's pretty good. I think swapping this for more useful increases enemy item drop rate by 100%. As in it doubles it, I assume. I need one. Spirit Breaker is not the most useful. But now I have Calamity Claw, which is very useful because it's a big slow in terms of speed and it slows move speed by a ton which is actually very beneficial well those are landmines right those are landmines it doesn't say they're landmines but they're definitely going to explode when they break oh they didn't explode i'm shocked okay i think that's more likely to be progress oh a different design for chests white canvas shoes Tis I, the Box of Iron Chancellor. How long do you think your precious chest bell will last? New boots. Okay, for them only. White canvas. Who do I want to give it? Okay, move speed, move ADF and speed. Let's give it to... Oh, she only... Hers are not up to date. Yeah, most of them do not have up-to-date gear. Auto CP up. Defense. Wait, no, I wanted to... Get the Medal of Valor off of Randy. Prevent seal, prevent faint, those are not important. Someone... Had... I mean, I, I don't really need lighter. The auto... And that's useful. I was here to grab Medal of Valor. And yeah, let's give her a protective helmet. Luminous glasses for... I can't put two sniper barrels, can I? I can. Really? I mean, that's kind of fun. It's probably not a good idea, but... She didn't expect to be able to stack the sniper barrels. So her range is going to be actually significant, like, meaningfully higher than it was. 
I don't know if these are- I assume these guys are close, I could be wrong. Like maybe they arm themselves and then explode as like an attack. Okay, that's progress, probably. Yep. EP charge 2. Hello, lads. I'm President Locksmith, and it's a pleasure to meet you. I'd like to award you medals for opening all of my friends earlier this year during that... the Bolt incident? Like, Locking Bolt, I assume? I don't want fair fights. Fair fights are not fun. Oops. I mean, these fire lane markers have to be relevant, right? Okay, team rush is always good. Quick and easy level up. Yeah, these fire lane markers have to be relevant, right? There's no way it's just set dressing. Oh, burst. We have burst stuff, which means that this is the end of the chapter, for sure. Bunch of sepas. I guess chests weren't important enough to invite to the trade conference, huh, Dieter? Fine. We'll be holding our own chest Zamiria <laughs> trade conference. Oh, that's bad. Chest Zamiria trade conference. Uh, I love it. I really do love the puns. Oh, I got something new. I don't know what it was. No people. Okay, so now we're... I'm not giving you a fair fight. Now we are on that area where we saw them. That's actually ideal. I can't act... Oh, no. When it... When I attack, I press side, and I can burst. Was there an opportunity to use the burst in the previous chapter? Did chapter 1 have any a burst section? Because I don't remember there being one. It'll die to burn. Oh no, I actually probably want the auto CP gen on Tio because her her S break is uber good. So Medal of Valor is going to be swapped. But like the like her like, guard free blocking of hits is worth a lot more than. I messed up. Um, Death Spiral? I don't have any good AoE. Like, the AoE in this game has been very different. Like, most of the AoE that's been in this game. I haven't gotten any yet. Do I just not have enough wind quirks on people? Okay, the movement on these guys is crazy. I really wish that I could have my people move and then shoot in the same turn. Okay. They definitely didn't go this way. This is definitely side path. I don't want to kill them. I need the target to do this with. Yeah. Oh, chest. Celestial bomb. How often do you think Remfirian general stores get phone calls asking if they have Prince Albert in a can? That's definitely a reference. I don't 100% get it. I'm just off. Just slightly off getting that reference. 
I feel like I should know it. They might literally just be there with something that existed that was Prince Albert in a can. But... I can't... recall... anything specific. Because admittedly, I think most toys in a can would have predated me a bit. Because that is more... It's more like hundreds of soldiers in a bucket type toy in my mind. Combat suit. I'm really glad Princess Claudia got to speak with Lecter again. Maybe now she can finally have some closure. New gear. Combat suit, men only. ADF is reduced by five. That's totally worth it. I don't... Oh. I don't get... Like, closure just with a K? Like, there's no real joke there, is there? Day 394. It was another cold Tuesday morning when I suddenly re when suddenly I realized I was still a treasure chest. I could have very easily missed that. Okay, there's gonna be a save point soon. They're going downwards. The freight elevator. The weird place for a freight elevator. Please turn around, Mr. Archaeism. Thank you. Um, team Rush, quick and easy. Yeah, so much experience from this. I might be slightly below the level that I could be at this point. I imagine this is progress and this isn't. Yep. Tear all bomb. You're testing my patience. They really were patient with that one. That's one that probably could have been in, like, one of the first games. What was that? It sounded like an orbital bomb going off. It was just up ahead. Hurry up. Hurry. Oh, trains. This is very deep for trains. And what do we have here? An underground freight line? That's right. It's used to transport goods and cargo to Orcus, Orcus Tower. Everyone, look! Yeah, we can jump that. Except when we can't. The walkway! They're trying to shake us off their tail. We can't let them escape. Search for another route. I mean, plenty of characters have jumped further than that. But it's all plot relevant. They're only able to jump far when it's... Like... Just kind of fluff. They can't jump far when it actually matters. I don't trust the exploders. Or what I... If, in, I think, one of the first two Trails in the Sky game... Trail Through the Sky? Trails in the Sky? There were those types of enemies, and I believe they were annoying because they exploded. And dealt a lot of AoE damage. Uh, this is probably progress. I don't want to fight. I don't want a fair fight. Fair fights are not fun. You know what? Okay, they're too split up for AoE to kill them all now. You know what I should do? Burst mode. Okay. Death. Okay, they, they're stunned, so they don't need to be worried about. And he's gonna focus on them still because I'm lazy, but... Donkey drum! Ooh, so much damage. All green. She's gonna heal. This should not be progress. Okay, nope. 
that's feeling more like progress than it should be. I didn't expect that to be progress, honestly. I should really let one of those get a turn just to make sure I know what they do. Monster Pier. I guess that's a monster chest. Uh, let's just play super safe. Okay, just make sure no one dies. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's kill this guy first. And they all got buffed. Okay, this should be enough. I, I misclicked. I misclicked, I mean, I was too lazy to click properly. Nice and easy. Shield breaker. All right. Now it's your turn to step inside, shut the lid, and wait until someone takes you out. That doesn't fit the lore. I thought the lore basically established that the chests were the ones talking, not... Like, the chests talked, not the... Oh, because that overlapped with Swordbreaker. Do I want Swordbreaker or Shieldbreaker? I'm really not sure. I think I prefer... Shield breaker aesthetically. Um, I'm still surprised they haven't actually given a healing spot yet. Like normally, I would feel they would give a heal healing location by now, but they haven't. Are we gonna fight people on top of a train? Oh, please have a train so train top fight. Is there really music right now? It's incredibly quiet. I didn't mean to do that. I should probably just use the burst. Because I think I have enough time to regen without too much of an issue. And it'll just make this fight faster. Quick and easy. Of course, if I then go straight into a boss fight, I'll be... I'll regret it. Look! Nice! You looped around it. I'd imagine they think they've thrown us off the trail by now. That's good news for us. Now's a chance to catch up. I mean, this is assuming that they're incompetent. Which, I mean, in these games, it's a totally reasonable assumption to assume that they are incompetent. Oh, that super high-range counter. I love it. I really should make... I should really stack evasion on her. So that she can counter from the other side of the screen. Like, just being able to counter from any attack that misses. Oh, it'll be so good if I went for it, but I won't because that would be too much commitment. And I, I might be able to do it later, but I'll wait till I have actual gear that benefits that. We're going deeper still. Oh, Tia almost died. She got very close to death. Like, incredibly close. Okay, I don't want to miss any chests. Because it is the chest of the Maria trade conference time. 
always got to save. If I had to restart, I would have to redo like 40 minutes, which would be rough. Oh, we're right above where we started. There they are. We finally managed to catch up with them. Blast it all. They must have defused the bomb at the top, on top of the tower. This guy seems to have too much detail. He's going to take his mask off and it's going to reveal a person, I bet. Those bastards. This was supposed to be our chance to kill that tyrant, Blood and Iron Chancellor. We even stooped to cooperate with those Calvardians, and for what? Do not waver, comrades. Our allies are legion. With their and Duke Cayenne's backing, we cannot be stopped. Once we have escaped this place, another opportunity is sure to present itself. We will have our... Breeze. It's interesting though, because these this group is slightly more... Relatable. They're not relatable, but like, compared to the Calvardian terrorists, these guys are slightly more relatable. Because the Blood and Iron Chancellor is not a good guy. Whereas, from an outside perspective, the Calvardian people are just racist. Where these guys think the Blood and Iron Chancellor is an awful guy. Though, they want to focus on nobility having power, which is not ideal either, but... What? It's those little brats from earlier! How the hell? We blasted the way here into bits! Yeah, so we took a different route. Genius, right? It would appear that the data you were provided wasn't quite as comprehensive as you thought it was. Or they didn't check. <laughs> Shut your goddamn mouth. Just who in the hell are you? Crossbow Police Department, Special Support Section. We hereby place you under arrest on numerous charges, including terrorism, sabotage, attempted assassination, and attempted mass murder. They're the police? As if some worthless cop in a puny state like this could stop our cause. Watch your tone. Do you have any idea how many innocent lives you could have taken today? The only way you're getting out of here is in chains. So you're those kinds of terrorists. Completely delusional. You think you can do whatever you want in the eyes of the goddess because you're, you've convinced yourselves that what you're fighting for is just. Not silence. You crossbones have no right to look down on us. Your state tossed aside its pride and hoard itself out for prosperity. Reasoning with them is useless. They have no remorse. I wonder if Grey Hair Leader is related to a character in Cold Steel. Because I think there's a... I think there's... Oh, mate, no. I'm thinking of a character in Fire Emblem Three Houses who has the same sort of grey-coloured hair whose father was a traitor, quote-unquote. Don't misunderstand. It is not our intention to disrupt the lives of those of others for the sake of our goals. However, should that dictator be allowed to continue leading our empire down his despotic path, there's no telling how many will suffer. Because yeah, like he's pushing for, what, a dictatorship? Which is not, not ideal. For that reason, we will grant no quarter to any who stand in the way of us taking the Chancellor's head. Don't bother trying to get through to these punks. Kick their asses and sort them out later. Is gray hair here? Look at that, she's already fully charged on her S-break again. But, I have Calamity Claw. And she's just gonna attack the biggest target. Three people. Three people. It's three, 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 three. I can only hit three at a time. So let's target these three. Oh. Yep. Eesh. Can I? No. I don't have. I can't interfere with that one. Okay, he has two turns. So let's bump him. For the liberation! Soko da. Soko da. Okay, what, are, what can she do? Does she have buffs? 
She has very little by way of buff. I don't need Chrono down. That actually could be useful. I don't know if they have arts, though. Ooh, but ADF minus 25 is actually pretty neat. So I don't think... Yeah, I don't have any good AoE. And this line attack's not bad. I can hit... How does that not hit the guy on the top? Like, this guy here not being hit by this is questionable. Because it's hitting more of his square than the one on the bottom. Weird. Anyway, that's not at all what I meant to press. Press the wrong button, but... You know what, let's just do this before anyone dies. Oh, did they... Where's my Calamity Claw? Did they interfere with it? What interrupted the Calamity Claw? Like, I, I wasn't paying enough attention, but something interrupted Calamity Claw. But I can probably Calamity Claw with this and it will go better. So Calamity Claw is on Tio. I think I need to focus on these frontline guys first. I missed because he's incompetent. Okay. Can I get a good arrow circle? Not that hits the two that I want to hit. And I can't hit them anyway. And I might as well just kill these guys. Or, you know, work to kill them. Uh, at this point, Calamity Claw is kind of pointless, but... Did Calamity, Cl did Calamity Claw go off and then all their buffs countered it? I guess I'll kill that guy. Uh, does she have any actually good attacks? Not really. She can't attack anyone but him in terms of range. Yeah, the long range counters are great. I mean, he can't even do his job right. Justice is ours. Ooh, guard. He's dead because he's bad. How much evasion does this guy have? Like... He has an obscene amount of evasion. Strike Bell him. And then the heal will go faster? Sure. Ooh, I can actually get a line here. I think the gun guys are the most dangerous. How'd that not hit the other guy? That's questionable. Focus. Let's have these guys focus on him. Lloyd can beat that guy up. Wrong button. They really nerfed that. They made it unusable. 
Like, they made Holy Bullet so bad. Because 60 CP is so expensive. No, how can this be? They're just government dogs. From a pissant. Pissant? I assume it's pissant, but... Autonomous state, of all things. I'll give you that the prosperity crossbows en enjoyed for decades has come at a cost. But don't you dare think for a second that cr crossbones have lost sight of their pride. Our situation is far from ideal. This is way too much to say to a bunch of terrorists. Stop monologuing. But despite all the pressures that shackle us down, we still fight to claw our way over those barriers. Lloyd, we're... Stop monologuing. Do your job. Well said, Lloyd. We totally care about the opinions of a bunch of terrorists, so it's important to us that you monologue to them. It's hard to disagree. Perhaps I was out of line to underestimate you. I can see that attempting to destroy the tower was going a step too far. Does that mean you surrender? No, we cannot fall here. Not while the Blood and Iron Chancellor yet breathes. Look out! Everyone, pull back. New rockets. Pretty cool. Is it going to be the uh, red constellation? What the? G guided missiles? What the? No. One of the CGS armored cars. Was that one of the new ones? You... How the hell did you get your hands on that? Ha. Huh. Wouldn't you like to know? We have more friends in high places than you can imagine. Let's see you strive to claw your way out of this one. We've wasted enough time here. Withdraw. Oh, I, I felt like the Iron Constellation, the Red Constellation is about to show up. Is everyone alright? Yes, surprisingly. I can still fight? No, you can't. You're all about to die. Well, with any luck, we'll manage to decommission this rogue racer. Don't get too comfortable. This is one of the Force's most durable models. Be mindful of anti-arts shielding. Keep your feet moving. If you see an opening, take it. I mean, we are not in a good state. Ha, huh, we're in Crossbell. Crossbell is not a good state. I mean, everyone's about to die. I need to try and heal. I guess I'll put on her and have her move into a better position. Move here. Everyone needs to be healed because they're all about to die. Okay, no, she just got slapped. That's fine. Not ideal, but it's fine. Like, the targeting is so iffy on these line attacks. Okay, she is about to die. But she can't heal herself because they super nerfed her. Um, I guess I can Raging Spin. Pull them in here. And blue drop. Uh, blue drop is such a terrible range. Ugh. Do you think anti arts will mean I can't debuff it? You know what? I will. No, I'm not gonna waste that. Actually, what does summon Zeit do again? I don't remember. Energy circle gives a heal. It might be worth considering, but I think I'd rather save up and use the guard. She doesn't have a good AoE heal. I need to kill these guys quickly. That's what I need to focus on. Because if they die, then I'm good. Okay, that's instant. Hopefully it does good damage. And hopefully it doesn't knock them away. The good damage. It knocked them a bit, which is suboptimal, but... That's even worse. Don't knock them apart like that. That makes my life harder. 
gotta love when you get ruined because the random chance hates you. And she's gonna die? Yeah, random chance hates me. Because that was the worst choice the AI could have given. Because him knocking them apart meant I couldn't hit more than one. And she still can't do anything? Okay, he has breath. Um, yeah, I can't really move anyone else into range. She can't do anything to... I'll just check. I assume I won't be able to do anything here. And I'm hoping it won't just be a direct attack back. It can be debuffed. I assume it just reflects damage. Which I think if it reflects all arts type damage, it would probably also render her regular attacks useless. Because her attacks are arts. Equipped with heavy weaponry and arts resistant, not arts reflective. And it has a speed breaker item. It has 53,000 HP. Hey, the defense down applied though, that's good. I need to stop. I need to pre prevent them grouping up like they are now. She needs to move like over here. I mean, it's just gonna be a lot of attacking. Does she have anything? I mean, I could, see, I could check what Summon Zite does. I don't remember what it does. Because I never used it. Okay, he hit decently hard. Tiara on yourself, because you're the one that's about to die. I, I should really burst attack. So, normal attack. Normal attack. She's going to use an art just to see what happens. Yeah, it just doesn't hit hard at all. It's not worth the EP that it costs. Let's see if it reflect if it reduces her attacks. If it reduces her attacks, then she's kind of useless. But oh, and it self damages. Oh, it lost its arts defense, or its ADF is down for a bit, which might mean. I mean, her normal attack hit okay. The twenty five percent defense now is not proccing a lot. Let's just be safe. Keep everyone healthy. Keep everyone healthy. Because I'm going to have a lot of regen here. Yeah, if you'd done that one instead of bouncing them back, it would have been pretty helpful, actually. I'm just going to keep attacking. I could probably use arts to attack it, but this is more efficient. Ooh, a new spawn. Donkey drum. I'd rather kill that guy. Oops, I need to burst, though. Uh... Oh, two turns in a row. Wait, did he get a rush chance on his turn? I wasn't paying attention. Because I'm just attacking because it has 53,000 HP. And it's not particularly threatening, so it's more efficient to just use normal attacks. It's just a waste of EP if I do anything but attack it. And since if I just attack, I charge my CP. It's just better to just do this. It takes way longer. I mean, let's be overly cautious and use that more frequently than I need to. Burst time. I think her her 
using the burst gauge is the loudest. Hey, the defense down finally procs. It would be so nice if it would proc there, dude. Because if it procs twice, it gets it to minus 50. Such an interesting fight. Hey, level ups. Okay, Mirage still hasn't leveled up. Last Storm 2. Axe reached level 3, I'm not using that, but... More crit chance, that's actually pretty good. Attacks of crap... Attacks slash crafts inflict faint 5% chance. Not great. Speed breaker. We... We did it! Quick, open the doors and pull out whoever's inside before they... That won't be necessary. I detect no vital signs. There never were any. It was fully automated to begin with. W wait, what? Are you freaking kidding me? Now isn't the time. Chase after the terrorists. The terrorists brought Archaeisms with them, too. They weren't exaggerating about having friends in high places. There's no time to worry about that. We have to resume the pursuit, or else they'll... Yeah, they're pro I assume they're fighting... I really think it must be Red Constellation, right? Because Red Constellation broke off from the police escort, sort of. On fire? What could be happening? Come on, we gotta move. And this is like... This is the entire reason they were here. Like, the entire reason Red Constellation was here was to protect the Chancellor. Oh, this is probably the exit for later. Okay, so this is here. Like, Red Constellation was here to protect the Chancellor. These are the people who were after the Chancellor. It makes the most sense to me if the Red Constellation was like, Oh, they're going to be over here? Let's go get them. No. Damn it. Oh, maybe it isn't? Nope, they just got murdered. Yep, I mean, called it. Oh. <laughs> the Red Constellation. Why would you? It's business. Contractual obligation. We've already sent your associates who destroyed the anti-aircraft raiders up to Eidos, too. Feel free to join them in her arms. How regrettable. Shirley, kill the one still cowering in the back there. Ooh, can I? Yeep. I mean, it's actually beneficial if they don't kill this guy, because then we can get news. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't worry, I'll give you a fair chance. Just you and me, one on one. Ah, ah. <sighs> I mean, if this was even slightly real wor life, he would have won that fight, but it's Magic World. Gasp. <laughs> you lose. Thanks for play. Stop. Hey, no fun. I was getting to the best part. Young Master. Oh, that's the guy that's friendly-ish. Took you long enough. Uncle Shirley. What the hell are all of you doing here? Come on, use your brain. We were too late. They're already gone. Every last one of them, except for the guy that has a knife to his throat right now. What have you done? They fulfilled their contractual obligations. Is it pretty messed up to shoot them all in cold blood? Maybe. How could you just slaughter them like this? Weren't you listening? It's business. We killed the terrorists that were here to assassinate the Imperial Chancellor and the Empire's eldest prince. I mean, the second part's a lie, I think, but... Because that is what the Imperial government hired us to do. Why are they shocked? You can't be serious. Like, it's just not good writing. They shouldn't be surprised. 
theories of the heart attack. Want to see our contract with the Imperial government? It's got a stamp on it and everything. You know what that means, don't you? We're off limits to you. No touchy. It, it can't be. Crossbell State Law, Article 19, Paragraph 3. At all times, the Crossbell government shall recognize and defer to the executive authority of the Erebonian and Calvardian administrations. That's right. In other words, we were acting as proxies for the Imperial authorities. Official executioners, with diplomatic immunity, I might add. They might let us keep this last guy for interrogation, but they probably kill him. You plotted this from the very beginning. Uncle? Why did you have to kill them? What reason can there possibly be? They were no threat to you. You could have just as easily disarmed them, couldn't you? Then why did you? I mean, you know why. Pathetic. Guac. No, Randy. Randy! Are you okay, Randy? Obviously. What part of the word execution do you have trouble understanding? You, of all people, should be no stranger to carnage of this caliber. If you want to blame someone, look in the mirror. Perhaps things would have ended differently had you done your jobs and caught them first. I doubt the Blood and Iron Chancellor minds your failure, though. He might just send a fruit basket for all the political leverage you've handed him. Eh. Oh, how could we let this happen? <laughs> As a show of good faith, we'll let this last little rodent go. Surely, release him. Aw, oh, man. Well, whatever. It's no fun when they give up this easily. Catch. Don't let him slip out of your fingers again, okay? Uh-uh. Grrr. We're done here. Let's pull out. Time to go cash in our checks. Tonight, we feast. Yeah. Later, guys. Excuse us, young master. Be around, Commander Randolph. I kind of prefer Gareth. He's like young master because he's descended as opposed to his direct ties as a commander. I just like... It's such bland writing when they're shocked that the Jaegers who murder people constantly killed people like they shouldn't be shocked in the slightest they should have expected it they should have thought ahead you gotta be shitting me all i wanted was to get away from all this god damn it oh they took them down without murdering them how polite they didn't even have armor I mean, Heiyue is more competent than the Red Constellation. They didn't even need armor. They got their nice suits, and they're still all clean. Ch Damn, Heiyue pest. What the hell are they helping them? Kao Li. Those are wanted men. I don't care what authorization the gov Republican government has granted you. You've no right to take them into custody. Authorization or no? I can't simply ignore what Heiyue's elders command of me. If that isn't a good enough answer for you, we take no issue with applying a healthy bit of force. I'm interested to see who would win in a match between the Divide, Divine Blade of Wind and my associate over here. Huh. The Eastern Quarter's legendary Zhang Shou. This meeting has been a long time coming, Yin. I understand you excel in direct combat, too. I would say we're at a disadvantage. Rest assured, our terrorist friends here are in good hands. They'll simply be utilized as examples to deter other radical Calvardian nationalists. 
honor for any political dissident. Don't screw with us. Because of you Easterners, our glorious republic is... Yeah, because like, you can't really empathize with these group, this group as much because they are just racist. Whereas the other people, it's like, the Blunder Iron Chancellor wants to establish a dictatorship. From, it's not a great state now. Like, it's run by an empire and nobles, and it's not great. But the Blood and Iron Chancellor being like, oh, let's establish an authoritarian regime. Is, wanting wanting to fight that makes a little more sense than, we are just racist. Hoo hoo ha ha. Blah. President Rocksmith. That sly dog is even craftier than I thought. Isn't he, though? I find him to be something of a kindred spirit, in a sense. In that sense. I insist that you direct any and all objections you may have to his administration. Men, let us take our leave. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> dot dot dot. Six PM. Is it gonna be continuing the boring conference stuff? Where it's gonna be like, oh, we did all the work, so you don't have any right to complain, blah blah blah. It's just gonna be boring. I mean that's a lot of strength. Or really bad shoes, actually. I see. Understood. Everyone here is safe and sound. There's no need to worry. I mean, those would have been some serious bombs, though. If they could get through six floor- wait, no, five floors? Cause, like, these floors are very big. That's a huge bomb. <sighs> What's the status of the terrorists? Calvardian terrorists were apprehended by several employees of Heiyue Trading Limited. It would appear the Republican government uh, granted them the authorization to do so. Pardon? Oh, splendid, splendid. They're friends of ours. Rest assured that we can vouch for their character. As for the Erebonian terrorists, I was told that the Red Constellation executed them on orders of the Imperial government. You can't be serious. Chancellor Osborne, what is the meaning of this? Am I to understand the Imperial government hired Jaegers on foreign soil for the purpose of carrying out a mass execution? You have the right of it, down to the very last word. Surely you know that there is no punishment more fitting than a swift death for daring to take the aim at your life, your highness. This will serve as a suitable deterrent for the fools hiding in the background. He's one to talk. As troubling as this is, their actions still fall within the bounds of state law. That may be, but even so, even so, this is far too great a breach of trust. Oh, you misunderstand, Speaker. But more importantly, wouldn't you call today's incident a prime example of what the Chancellor and I were saying? Surely you see now that the Crossbell State Government is incapable of managing a crisis such as this by itself. Huh. Not only did the terrorists successfully infiltrate the venue of the trade conference, you and yours failed to stop them. If not for our preemptive safeguards, they would have evaded capture. You could consider this proof that the measures we put forward would work in practice. That's right, forgive my brashness, but consider how close to the brink of death our lives were placed today. They weren't even that close, they were pretty much 100% safe the entire time. What better time than now to seriously consider our proposal to station troops in Crossbell? I don't believe you two. This is borderline coercion. Then this was all intentional. Now I see your aim. A plan this low is despicable, even for you. <laughs> if I could have your attention, everyone. We still have not concluded discussing the final matter on the agenda. I do believe the Chancellor and President's proposal is worth consideration. However, 
I would first like to finish the statement I was going to make before we were interrupted by the attack. The theater? Oh. Hmm. What did you wish to bring to the table? Actually, this is not so much a motion to be discussed as a declaration of intent. I've been some I'd been somewhat hesitant about this idea, but the events that transpired earlier were just the push my resolve need needed. So please, allow me to take this opportunity to advocate for one final proposal. What? We can no longer be swayed by the whims and desires of foreign powers. For the sake of lasting peace in the region, no, throughout the entire continent, I hereby propose to the citizenry and to all nations of Zemiria that Crosswell be recognized as an independent state. Afterwards, that's not really the topic for a trade. Con I guess it is trade conferency, but like Nectar Junction. And they're gonna run into Red Constellation, presumably. Hmm. My my. Are they gonna fight? Please start fighting. Look who it is. Ahaha. <laughs> Fancy meeting you guys here. The Red Constellation. The Scarlet Ogre and his daughter. We are at the ready, Lord Sigmund, sir. <laughs> Relax, man. Neither one of us is in a position to do anything until we've taken care of our client's terms. It would be unprofessional to jump the gun for a little fun, wouldn't it? Haha, <laughs> not my words, but I agree. This reminds me. I'd like to congratulate you on the successful reopening of Nuit Blanc. My apologies for not having welcomed you, welcomed you to the neighborhood already. Ha, think nothing of it. You'll have to excuse me for not knocking on your door when we arrived, old friend. Speaking of reminders, how are your colleagues back in the Eastern Quarter? The ones that managed to survive, that is. Quite alright, thank you very much. Sorry to disappoint you. Though it may, if it makes you feel any better, I hear the elders still have nightmares, courtesy of all of you. They sure better. We busted right into their little council and took them hostage. Huh. You'd have not fared so well had I not been absent on another mission. Mate, are you Yin? That legendary Zhang something? The strongest warrior of the Eastern Quarter? And you must be bloody Shirley. You're one of the strongest battalion commanders of any Jaeger Corps on the continent, despite being only 16 years old. I guess so. Honestly, I'd, I'd way rather do all my hunting solo. But enough about me. What's with the getup? That you'd be loads more powerful without that fancy schmancy mask and cape on. I beg your pardon. It's taking a lot out of you, right? Keeping it all together. Your muscles would be a heck of a lot stronger if they could move the way they wanna. Right? That it's hiding that they're a woman? Well, well. <laughs> it does an old man proud to know- It does an old man proud to know his daughter's got a good eye for things. Sorry if she hit a sore spot. Surely knows what she wants when she sees it. Don't mention it. Oh. I suggest we move on ahead, unless you have more catching up you'd like to do. <laughs> Not at all. Sorry to keep you. Until we meet again. Yeah, see you around. <laughs> bye bye now. Uh, I just don't like the writing of some of these. Like, them being shocked that the Red Constellation... The Jaeger Corps that was all like blood and murder 
killed people. Like, they shouldn't have been shocked by their actions. There should have been more, like, they should have been appalled, but not shocked. Like, I just, I just think the tone of their reaction was a little bit too naive. They should have expected them to do that. I don't know. But, Tower of Terror. Never ridden that. I just think that... This is where I'm going to stop because it's a good stopping point. But, I just think that the way the SSS reacts to stuff is... In-world, it is very naive. Like... They know that Jaeger cores are awful. They shouldn't have been like, why would you do this? Because they know exactly why they would do it. They like killing people. Like, just the way they're written bugs me a little. Like, it's it's too... It, it feels too much like it is written for younger people. Like, plenty of books that I have read that are, you know, targeted at, that are these serious stories, they don't have, like, the characters can be appalled by what's happening, but they don't act as, the, they don't act shocked. They fully expect that these terrible people will do terrible things. They'll still find the stuff terrible, but they won't be like, oh no, how could you do this? As if they expected anything else from the people. I think that's a weak point. I really think they should be appalled by what's done but they shouldn't be shocked for even a second like they should fully expect that that's what's gonna happen because they're bad people it's just kind of a for some reason they believed that they wouldn't kill people when everything they've ever shown is that they revel in bloodshed it's not a strong it's not a strong character plot point to be like oh yeah we thought they wouldn't be this bad and then they were it's like eh why it's just a waste of it's just I, I think that element is poor writing because they're too naive and like Randy's reaction I can cope with because it's sort of a cover it's sort of for Randy it's a mix of guilt because of what he did in the past and trying to move on and so he feels bad about what he did in the past, and getting an explicit reminder causes him to get angry, which is reasonable. His reaction, I think, was the only one that really made sense, whereas the rest were shocked when they shouldn't have been. Yeah, that's the end of chapter two. Next will be time for chapter three, which will be back next week. Have a good weekend, but not really. Cause it's kind of eh, but have a good time. Bye bye.